whether you think you can or you can't, you're absolutely right. So I want you to write that down and think about that and stick with it because ultimately it's going to have an impact on whether or not you jump on the upward spiral or whether you jump on the downward spiral. So to recap, I am focusing on the emotional challenge. It's about looking after your attitude. It's about recognizing that luck plays no part in your results. Now, I mentioned before why this is an exciting part of the journey. A, the toughest part is behind you, but B, there's a reason this curve starts to happen. And quite simply, it's the relationship between these two words. Now to date, the majority of the company has had to wait for results before belief kicks in. If you want to see that, that, um, that curve change and you want to see the uh, exponential curve kick in, then that has to flip. So you need to make a decision today whether or not you want to start to see results really kick in and see your full potential happen. And that will only happen when you believe things will happen before they do. This is about challenging your belief barriers. Now a couple of key tips and things that I want you to do right now, one of which is recognizing what your full potential currently is without even improving, without even getting more experience which you're going to get tomorrow. And the reason that that's the case is because when you look at the results that you've got right now, you have achieved something pretty solid already. If you look at your best day to date, it might be one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, uh, up to 10, which is uh, the current largest day out in the field. You multiply that by seven, whatever it is, Right now, that is your full potential. So you need to start taking off this kind of glass ceiling that's over your head and understand reduction of belief barriers is the ticket to getting full potential out there. Now one tick, uh, I guess a tip that I'd like to give and share with you is if you are now going to believe in results before they happen, you need to start recognizing why they'll happen and what it is and what it takes to get big, big results. Now you all know some top performing habits. You all know things that can uh, can get results out there. You need to now recognize where the downward spiral kicks off in your day. You'll remember a speech I gave at sales school. It was the balloon speech um, and really it relates directly with the Darren Brown video. One was a demonstration of a day going like this and the other was an upward spiral. The downward spiral was kicked off by exactly the same things that happened in the, the positive day, the, the following day. The only difference was the way in which my mind had an impact um, on my attitude. And you need to recognize what are the things that kick you down a downward spiral. There's about a dozen of them, but you need to scribble them down right now and commit from this moment onwards why they're not going to happen tomorrow. And one example would be five, six outs in a row. The butcher would recognize those five, six outs as, wow, this is outsville. This is an unlucky day. This is an unlucky street. This isn't going to be great. The upward spiral would see that as, well, great. It's the first part of the day. It's between one and three or four in the day, and it's typically when people aren't in. And I'm getting closer to the yes. Another example is five door slams in a row. The downward spiral will be waiting for you there if you think, well, obviously I'm no good at this, I can't do it. Remember Henry Ford's quote, whether you think you can or you can't, you're absolutely right. So catch yourself tomorrow and the next day and the day after saying these things that kick you down that downward spiral. And instead, focus on how you get on the upward spiral. Now one tip to help you get on that spiral is recognizing what you were doing and your bad errors and your mistakes versus the great things that can happen out there and have a big impact and get results. And to do that, you need to start using what are called positive affirmations. Now, I'm not going to describe exactly what they are because I want you to do that research yourself. Um, but ultimately, it's about saying what you are doing right now in present tense, first person. So rather than having words like, I'm trying to do this, I hope to do that, I'm going to do this, it is, I am right now. 
and you need to implement all the habits that you're recognizing you're going to you're going to put into practice tomorrow and the next day and you need to start using positive affirmations to describe them so an example of that if i recognize that a top performer is only someone that acts like a top performer i will tell myself i am a top performer i have the attitude of a top performer i am no longer allowing door slams or rejection or people saying no on the approach to affect my day. That's the use of a positive affirmation. Talk to your senior managers, ask them how they've perhaps implemented things in, um, in the past, but ultimately this is what you need to start doing now if you want to get on the upward spiral, because that is where there's a flip. And the flip is from results dictating belief to the flip side where belief dictates results and when that happens as a company that's where results start to take off and exponential things will start to happen I'm excited to see what's going to happen because this as I said in the last five six years is where all these things switch 